Hello. Um, hi. Yeah. I'm making a video. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I also once day. Uh, well, I didn't ask. I said that I was gonna think about making a video. So I told everyone to ask me some questions, and because uh, this was meant to be a Q and A, and no one did. So I'm gonna do a different video, and I just thought. Someone do a video anyway, so I thought I'd run through my guitars and just show you my guitars, talk a little bit about them. Why not? So let's get started. Uh, first of all, okay. First of all, is this? It's I don't know. If you can't see all of that, but yeah, you get the point of what this is. It's my Stratocaster, my Squire, my Fender, and yeah, I, I haven't got anything to cut the strings with, but oh well, you know, it. I'll get to that, you know, it's fine for now though, but uh, yeah, sounds nice, plays nice, feels really nice. It didn't originally, it's actually my first electric guitar, um, my granddad bought it for me. And it didn't actually feel very nice at the time. This was years and years ago, and it had old strings on it, and you know, the things like that down here, you know, action wasn't sorted out. But just a couple of weeks ago, I decided to fix it up, and I did, and I sorted it all out. And that feels really nice, it sounds really good as well. I love playing this one. Um, you know, just, yeah, that was not special, but that's my squire. Very nice. This is my Encore LP type single cut guitar. It's uh, been my main guitar, main electric guitar, for quite some time. Uh, and it was my second electric guitar. Uh, I've had it, I don't know how many years. But I got it just a couple months after I got the Squire, and um, yeah, it's it's because at the time I didn't really like the feel of the Squire, and this was great. I love the feel of it, and I love the sound of it. Very chunky, nice thick sound. Um, and this is back when uh, you know I put everything to ten on the amplifier and just play metal, so that that was good. And this did the job perfectly fine for it, and because uh, it was the first type, first guitar I ever restrung as well, so. I never managed to clip the strings off this either, and um, I named it Medusa because of all its strings and whatnot, and yeah, not not your typical sort of guitar name like I don't know whatever you might name a guitar, but I called it Medusa. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I don't think I'll clip these ones just because of its because of what I've called it. You know, I I can't. It's called Medusa. I can't clip these. If I restring it, I can't clip them. So, you know, it's Medusa, that's what it is. But yeah, very, very nice. Um, plays nicely, especially for an encore as well. Like, I've heard bad things about encore. Like, I've never really heard anything good about them because they're, you know, apparently starter brand sort of guitars. But, I mean, it's really nice. It's it's done well for me and it sounds nice and it it's, uh, plays nicely. Um, those are my electric guitars, onto acoustic guitars, I suppose. Um, this is my first ever uh, guitar stand up. It's a Dreadnought, I believe, style body. That's what it's called. And it's a Shaft Spree. Uh, Shaft Spree Rodeo 6. And apparently these are actually not very common, but um, yeah, it's my first full-size guitar I ever had, and I've had this for years and years and years. It's the guitar I learned on, and it's the guitar I still love to play. Feels really nice to play. The really really dead strings, and one of the tuners is broke, uh, and I can't tune it to standard tuning, so now it has to be in really low tuning. But, you know, that's half the reason I love it. That's that's another thing about it that, you know, just gives it character, I suppose. But, uh, 
yeah, really nice guitar. I like it, you know, if it's it's my first guitar really. You can't not like it, you know, so yeah, and it feels really nice as well, it just looks nice, nothing particularly special about it. Uh yeah. Just old and beaten up and yeah, very, very, very old actually, so much older than you know, than when I got it, you know. Uh my other acoustic guitar is actually a Washburn 12 string. Look at that. That's gorgeous. I believe it's a yeah, WD10 S12. Uh, it's not exactly in tune. I haven't tuned it for a while. It goes out of tune quite a lot just from sitting there. So it's it makes me want to play it less because uh, that's a lot of shit to tune. So I don't feel like doing that. Um, but when you do tune it, it does sound really nice. Um, it, yeah, and my my problem with it, like, it's not my favourite guitar um, as much as I want it to be because it is a very nice guitar and it does sound nice when you want it to. It's just kind of difficult to play. The amount of strings that you have to push down, it just makes it it just makes it harder to play. You've got to put more pressure on the fretboard and whatnot. But um, when when you when you got no strings on it, and because these strings are quite dead as well, when you get new strings on it and when it's set up and all that, it does sound nice. It just doesn't really feel very nice, but it's. Yeah, it, it gives really rich, full sound, and it's it's quite dreamy, I suppose you could say. I'd say so. But yeah, 12 string, and I still love it. You know, it's not my favourite, but I still love it to bits. Uh, still very nice, quite pretty. You know, so, yeah. Um, that's my acoustic guitars. And now... What I probably should have done first, but I didn't. It's the bass guitars. So here is my first bass guitar, and I've had to do some things to it. But uh, it's a very black. Uh, it's an Area Pro Two Magna Series bass, and um, when I got it, yeah, I had to. I had to do some stuff to it. I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, when I got it, it's actually my my brother-in-law's bass, like old bass guitar, um, and he gave it to me, and uh, yeah, it, I was I was amazed by it, because it was my first bass, I, play, I only had guitars at the time, so I was like, oh, I really want a bass, and I got this, and it was great, um, but yeah, it, it didn't really feel very nice to play, it didn't really sound very good either, and it doesn't actually work anymore, I still need to get it fixed. Um, but yeah, uh, once I got my other bass, which I'll show you in a minute, um, I, I had the idea to make it a fretless bass for ages, and as you can see, it well, you might be able to see, maybe not. I don't know. I can't really bring it any closer unless I do this, and then you still can't really see. But it's got no frets. It's got strips where the frets used to be. I ripped them out. I ripped them out, and it's it's cool. I don't know if you could hear that, but you can slide up and down, so... Bugger, you yeah. know. I'm not going to bother doing that. But yeah, it gives it a really nice sound. Uh, it's nice. I don't know, it's... Like I said, it doesn't work at the moment. And if it did work, the pickups still probably wouldn't do it justice. Um, doesn't really feel very good, if I'm honest, because it's not made to be a fretless guitar. I've had to bring the action down as low as I possibly can. And it's still quite high. There's still quite a gap between the strings and the fretboard. Or the fingerboard, I suppose now it is. Um, this, what this is, that, this tuner here used to be where that hole is there. But uh, I decided when I was, um, I was cleaning it one day, and uh, I decided, oh, I'm going to put some new strings on it. I've got some old strings. The, you know, it's still kind of bright, not very, not, well, I suppose a little bit, but um, I'll put some strings on it, because the ones I had were honestly awful, and um, so, yeah, I put these on it, 
But this string didn't actually reach all the way down to there, so I thought, oh, bugger, what am I going to do? I haven't got the money for more strings, and I can't be able to go out and get any, even if I did. So, uh, my uncle actually helped me to drill a hole through here, and, um, yeah, and then I put the, I just took the tuner out there and put it in this new hole. And, uh, I'm thinking about maybe cutting that bit off the headstock, just, you know, adding more touches to it. But, uh, yeah, it does the job. It tunes the wrong way. But, you know, it's nothing you don't get used to. And I think I did a pretty good job of keeping the strings in line with each other. So I'm quite happy about that, actually. So, I mean, it's not exact, but, I mean, it's nearly there, you know. It's for a bodge, bodge job, and for, you know, a really quick job, not bad, I think. And it does that, so, yeah, why not? And lastly, but by no means leastly, and someone is going to tell me off for saying that, because I, you know, for whatever reason. This is my, uh, yeah, I did say what that was, never mind. This is my Ibanez base. I mean, it's not exactly Ibanez, it's Soundgear by Ibanez. You can see it just about there, it's a little bit dark, but you can still see it. It's Soundgear by Ibanez. And, um, yeah, this is the one that I take to gigs. Uh, it's nice blue. You probably can't see it well on the camera, but it's... A lot of fingerprints on it, but yeah, oh well. Um, you probably can't see it very well on the camera, but you can actually see the grain of the wood through the uh, through the blue, and that's quite nice. Yeah, that's very nice. That's the whole reason I picked this particular one. Um, it's got active pickups in it, uh, so I don't know. It's very punchy sounding. It's got a nice feel on the neck, you know, it feels very nice. Yeah, it's, this is my newest, like, bass slash guitar. And, uh, it's everything I wanted, really, when I got it. So, you know, I love it. It's bits. It's the one I play at gigs. Um, not just because that one doesn't work, but because this one is what I need it to do. It does what I need it to do. And that's sound fat and sound punchy. And good for rock and metal and all that. Of course, it's an Ibanez. Ha ha ha! Kidding. But um, yeah, it's it sounds nice. It feels nice. Yeah, I don't know. I like it. And then there's the back of the neck as well. Looks very pretty. Five piece neck. Probably maple and I don't know what I could say. It's most likely rosewood, I guess. But I don't know if that's actual neck material. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's blue. It, you can see the grain of the wood. It plays what I want it to. It's nice. I like it. It does the job well. And uh, I don't know. It sounds a lot better plugged in. I can definitely say that. But yeah, it's it's pretty much the base I got for Two Face Serenade. Well, not pretty much. It is. <laughs> that's that's the reason I got this. So, uh, yeah. And it's it's bloody lovely. It plays really nicely. Like I've said, I've I mean I love to clean it. <laughs> not too long ago, I, I had a little while cleaning it, and it was just nice to do. You know, it's, I like to clean guitars and set them up and everything like that. It's nice. Um, not really much more to say. Apart from it does well, and everyone likes it, it seems. Everyone in the band likes it. I love it. And it, it does what I want it to. I've said that a million times, but I don't think I could say it enough. So, yeah. And that's pretty much that for that, I suppose. It's got its own little EQ, I suppose you could say. It's got bass, middle, and treble knobs, which is nice. Bass, mid, treble. So, yeah, you can actually... Get your own sound mid song if you like. I do that quite a lot. Um, I guess that's it. That's all my guitars. I guess six, including basses, acoustics, and all that. Two of each. Um, yeah. I guess. Thanks for watching my video. And. I don't know. Tell me what you want to see more of. Either here on YouTube or on Twitter. Um, yeah, just let me know and I'll definitely consider it all. And if you want, 
ask me questions for an actual Q&A next time. That'd be cool. Yeah, no, that, that'd be quite cool, actually. So, yeah, but thanks for watching my video. It's been nice showing you my cells, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.